Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn a spreadsheet into flashcards using the latest version of Flippity.net, a classic that I've been using for years, which was recently updated. Let's take a look at how it works. So, you'll find it at Flippity.net, and let's go to the instructions to make some flashcards. And first, we're going to copy the Google Sheets template, make a copy, and obviously I'm signed into my Google account as you can see in the upper right hand corner there. Now this is all placeholder content here. We're going to edit everything that's down below row 2. We're going to leave row 1 and row 2 as is unless you want to change the language as you can see there or if you don't want to have any audio at all, you can select none. But I'm going to leave it at the defaults of English US. Now, I'm going to get rid of all of this placeholder content. And I'll get rid of all of this placeholder content. And for now, I'll leave the card color and text color as is. I don't need to worry about that quite yet. So now let's fill in some things for our flashcards. Maybe I want to do state capitals. Maine, Augusta, Connecticut, helps to spell it correctly, Hartford, New York, Albany. And I, now you can see how this goes on. Now there is no limit to how many flashcards you can make. What I want to point out is that if you only have three things filled in here, you'll want to delete all the color content you see in this column down here. Otherwise you'll end up with a set of blank flashcards to accommodate all of these rows. Basically all the rows are going to represent a flashcard. So if you have anything in the row, it'll create a flashcard for it. Now I only have three flashcards because I only have things in three rows. Now, let's go up here and rename this. Let's call it something like State Capitals. Great name for it. And now we go to File and we want to share the spreadsheet, share the Google Sheet. So let's publish to the web and we'll publish the entire document as a web page, not as a CSV or a PDF or a spreadsheet itself, but as a web page. Now publish it, click OK, copy this link that's provided. So I've copied that link. And now, so I've got, make sure I copied it, good. And now, let's go to get the link here. And we're going to paste it in. And our link will soon be generated. Now, if it's taking a little bit of time, we can go back up here, make sure we've published it. Publish the entire thing. Done. Okay, good. And now let's close that out. Okay. Make sure we have that. Good. Go to get the link here. There's our new link. And that takes us now to our flashcards that we can sort through. Here's my flip. Go backwards. There's Maine. Flip it to Augusta. Next one, Connecticut. Flip it to Hartford. Now, up here, you can see I have the volume turned off right now, but you can now shuffle the cards. Let's shuffle them up, which you might want to do if you have a whole lot of them and you want to not do them in the same order every time. You can keep shuffling them. You can see there I can flip them that way. You can flip them here, flip them back, and you can see as well, I can turn these flashcards into other types of activities, like simply a list or a matching exercise, or a practice fill-in-the-blank type of activity. 
but there's my basic flashcards. Now I can access my flashcards anytime by going to the link that's provided. To get it to my phone, I could simply copy and paste the link and send it to myself. I use Google Keep to keep track of it, but you can do it in any way that you would normally keep track of a link. Now last but not least, I should point out that in the flashcards you could link to images if you like and have images instead of text in the sides of your flashcards. And I have directions on how to do that in another video that's linked up in the description down below. So that's how you can turn a Google Sheet into a set of flashcards that you can review anytime online. As always, for more things like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.